Hello, 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 it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a chalk couture demonstration. So if you are interested in seeing this video, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thank you so, so much again for joining me today. If you are new here, then I would like to welcome you to the Brandy Janae family. Please be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. So like I said, in this particular video, I um, am going to be doing a chalk couture demonstration and this will actually be my very first one. So fingers crossed that it goes well. Um, if you did not see my last video, be sure to go check it out. I will link it in the cards above. Um, and this, in the last video, I unboxed the designer kit. So you can see everything that comes in the kit. But these are all items that did come in the kit. So I just want to try it out just to show you all how easy it's supposed to be. Um, so this is the um, Couture Basic couture boutique board and then this is the base that comes with it um, this is the chalkology paste and it's in the bright white I have a small squeegee I have my transfer and then I have the little fuzz mat which I can't really yeah the um, fuzzing cloth is what this is called um, and that's just for the transfer so it says to peel the transfer from the back you want to fuzz it a couple times just for new ones I think that just kind of gets some of the sticky out of it All right. imagine you don't want the fuzz to actually stay on there though. well that's not on the letter part so it should be okay Alright, and then I'm going to lay this as centered as possible. Alright, then I'm going to use my paste. It feels cool. And it said in a very thin layer, squeegee it on, and I mean really guys, like it seems like a little bit really kind of goes a long way, so these jars should last, oops, quite some time. I can just wipe that since it's not. I'm going to have to get something to rub that off. So, note to self, when you get close to the edges, you might want to run it in Some more stuff to design <laughs> all right then it says while it is wet you want to go ahead and remove the transfer straight down come on not diagonal I feel like you need two hands friends And then 
all you have to do is just take this, run it under cold water, let it dry, and then you can use the transfer again. I was told in my groups that the transfers are supposed to be used. You can use them, um, I think, seven or eight times. So it's a pretty good deal. You buy one thing um, and then you use it and then, you know, you can make more projects. So now I can put this same transfer on multiple items. So um, this is how it would look in the stand. So cute. So I did it and now you can't even see that little mistake. So now knowing this, knowing what I know now, I probably would have scooted it up just a little bit more so it didn't look like you had so much space at the top and not very much at the bottom. But again, this is trial and error and this is the first time. So I'm super excited that I did it. So as you can see, it is extremely simple to do. <laughs> um, even just doing this right now, I was able to figure it out and get it done. And I think this project is absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and you guys have a good day. Goodbye.